Okay, you guys saw that pretty quickly. Additive identity. You got to find an A, B, and C that make this into something which, when added to any other, gives you that other thing, right? Well, and you came up with it pretty quickly. A equals zero. B equals zero. C equals zero. So you have 0x squared plus 0x plus 0, which is, of course, just 0, right? And then, to be complete, ax squared plus bx plus c plus 0, right? And to, to be really complete, you've got to put 0 on both sides, unless you first established that addition is commutative, which of course we have, but just to be complete, we write this, right? Because as in matrix multiplication, sometimes what you do on the right gives you something different than what you do on the left, so you better be careful, okay? We can't generally assume commutativity, even though we could here. Okay, so I, I kind of write it out like this to emphasize that. It's really not necessary to write both. Anyhow, that equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? Then you got to put some words around it. And I'll see what kind of words you're putting around it and coach you if you need to put more or different words. Okay? You've got the idea right now, I'm happy. But eventually we've got to put the words on it to make our thinking really precise so we can really prove things. This isn't a proofs course. We're not going to go deep into the idea of proofs, but you're going to get an introduction to it. Okay. Uh, then everyone's got an additive inverse. Okay. So give me a typical element of this set and tell me what its additive inverse should be. 